Hey guys, I'm Liz Ferry. Halloween is coming up soon, so today I'm going to show you a little finishing touch that I added to my skull masks recently. If you want to make one of these skull masks for yourself, you can find the link to the pattern on Ravelry in the description below, or you can also find the video tutorial. Basically, I'm just going to black out the eyes of my skull mask by sewing some old sunglasses lenses into the eyes. I had a pair that broke recently, so I figured this would be a great way to repurpose the lenses. If you don't happen to have a spare or broken pair, you can just get a cheap pair from a dollar store and break them yourself to get a pair of lenses. Besides the sunglasses lenses, for this project you'll also need a thick, sharp needle, like a small darning needle, a lighter, a smaller sewing needle, some black thread, and of course, you'll need your skull mask. Before I go on, I should bring up that this video is not intended for children. The materials, tools, and techniques involved in this process are not necessarily child safe. I use sharp pins and needles, as well as fire from a lighter, none of which should be used by a child. The intention of this video is to inspire fellow fiber artists and creators to use similar techniques to make their own art. That being said, on with the tutorial. The first thing I need to do is create some holes in the lenses. There's probably other ways you could do this, but I'm going to use my lighter to heat up the tip of my darning needle. Then I'll push the needle through the lens to melt a hole through the plastic. As you can see, I've already added four little holes to one of my lenses. So I'll do the same thing to the other lens so that I have four holes in each lens, one in each corner. After poking each hole, make sure that your sewing needle fits through. If it doesn't, just heat up the darning needle and do it again to widen the hole. Keep on doing that until the needle can get through smoothly.
Also, I should mention that this process might destroy the darning needle, so if you don't want that to happen, use something else to melt the plastic. You could use a large safety pin, but you might need to work a lot harder to widen the hole, or else use a particularly small sewing needle to make sure that the needle will fit through the holes created by the pin. Alright, I've finished melting four holes into each corner of both lenses. Now I'll just use my sewing needle and my black thread to sew these lenses in place inside the eyes of my skull mask. First, I'll flip the mask inside out. Then I'll line up one of the lenses with one eye. Make sure the concave side of the lens is facing you, and the convex side is facing the outside of the mask. And make sure to use the correct lens for the correct eye. The angled side of the lens should be at the inner corner of the eye, and the flatter side should be at the outer corner of the eye. Then I'll thread my needle, and sew the lens in place on the eye through the melted holes that we made earlier, as though you were sewing on a button. I like to sew along the edge of the eye, along the tops of the stitches, so that the lens is pulling the fabric at the eye in a little more, creating a sort of 3D effect.
And finally, flip the mask back the right way and shape the eyes around the lenses. Now there's nothing left to do but try it on. This was such a simple little extra step to take for this mask, but I think it made a huge difference with the look. Once again, you can find the pattern for this mask in my Ravelry store at the link below. If you make your own skull mask using my pattern, I'd love to see your interpretation. You can find all of my social media links in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and share it on social media. And if you'd really like to help out the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos early, access to some of my prototype patterns, and discounts in my Ravelry store, depending on your level of donation. You can find out more about that at patreon.com slash fairyrings. You could also subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!